before we get into the video today, somebody wanted to say hello. Uh, can you say hi, Duchess? Nope. She's, she's, when the camera turns on, she stops being cute. So anyway, she wanted to say hi. First today, I want to thank every single one of you for not only watching my bar video the other day, but for leaving some of the nicest comments I have ever heard. They touched me so, so much. They really encouraged me to keep doing this and to keep creating these videos for all of you. I could not be more appreciative. So thank you so much for that. Truly, it meant the world. You have no idea how much I needed all of that. So I really, really appreciate it. As well as the fact you all like the music. I'm so, so happy about it. Um, I didn't know how it was going to go down, but the fact that you all are not only interested in it and loved it, but you want to actually use it if you're a teacher or a student. Um, so I will be working on ways to market it and to get it produced and published. Uh, and we'll keep you updated on all of that. I don't really know how that's going to work at this point, but I will be working on it. Um, so a little, one more thing today before we get to the favorites. As I mentioned on Instagram yesterday, I gave you all sort of a tentative video schedule with some more day looks coming up, um, an injuries video on Monday, as well as I'm going to reshoot the feet and point work strengthening video um, so you can actually do it as a workout, as well as another bar, another bar coming up on the 14th. Um, so something to look, all of those things to look forward to, as well as another series I haven't told you all about yet. And it's going to be called Technique Tips. And basically it's going to coordinate with my bar series, but it's going to get into more technique detail and more specific details of your ballet technique and how to improve. I didn't really want to do that during the bar workouts because I wanted you to be able just to do it. Um, and if you're not trying to be a professional and you just want to work out, I didn't really want to clog that up with me talking. So these videos are going to, each one is going to focus on something, for example, pirouettes or jumps, or even something like tendus or how to pick up combinations quickly, things like that where I can get into more detail with you, give you some exercises um, so that you can apply those to your, your technique and your daily bar workouts or your daily dancing. Uh, so be looking for that, the technique tip series, um, as well as all the other things I've mentioned. So that's just sort of where this channel is going. Again, I so appreciate all of your support and your excitement about everything. Um, I really am so, so thrilled and excited to, to give you all of this. Uh, so be watching for all of that. So today's video, it says favorites and updates. So basically once a month, I'm not only going to be showing you all my favorite products of that month, but also my favorite ballet items, as well as what I've been doing and just sort of kind of the past month in general, things I love, um, as well as once a month in this video, I will be sharing my favorite ballet DVDs with you because I know there are so many out there. I have quite a collection um, and some are good, some are not. So I want to tell you which ones you should be watching, which ones you need to be watching. Uh, so I will include one of those within the favorites every single month. So first we're going to start with the ballet items, obviously. Um, as I mentioned in the bar video at the end, I uh, have... I had a thyroid thing and I had a lot of medical weight gain. So I haven't really been comfortable in colors, leotards of late. I know some of you asked me that, you know, where were the colored leotards? You were all in black. Um, it's because I'm not quite there yet into wearing white or into wearing other things. So I have been wearing a lot of black lately. As well as leg warmers, I do apologize. I had no idea that it looked like that until I was editing it, so I will not wear leg warmers next time. I am sorry about that. So um, the first leotard I've been wearing quite a lot, which I realized was not in the My Complete Leotard Collection video because it was in the wash, is this black short sleeve freed leotard. It has velvet on the top, plain bottom. Um, again, I think I even referred to it at one point in that video and it wasn't there. So it's here now. It's what I've been wearing quite frequently. Um, just very, very simple. I feel very comfortable in it. Um, and I think I did wear this in the bar video. It had a sweater over it, obviously. But uh, just sort of my go-to black leotard. The next leotard is also one that wasn't in the series because it was also in the wash. It's an Elevé. And it's dark brown with this sort of nude mesh and I really like this one because I can wear lots of sweaters over it, um, lots of thin sort of tissue tees over it and have it still look neutral and yet has a bit of, of sheerness to it and just again simple but um, I do wear this one quite frequently. There has been one that of, of color that I 
have been wearing because I, I sort of layer it with a black sweater, and that's this Periwinkle Elevate. It's got this sort of uh, periwinkle mesh at the top. Um, very simple, uh, what is this called? Sleeveless, thank you, sleeveless. And what I've been doing is wearing this black sweater over it, which has this sort of wide boat neck neckline. Uh, just sort of this simple ballet sweater, but what it ends up looking like when I layer it together um, is this. So you get sort of the periwinkle mesh with the black sweater. So I've really been into to that lately as well. Um, so now I'm going to show you the beauty products. I'm going to, this is going to fade into another part because Dutch is on my lap and I have to put her down. Okay, now for the beauty products. Um, it's just some of the ones I've been wearing a lot, using a lot, that I really loved. I've mentioned these before, but these are the uh, Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-hour blushes. And uh, this is my favorite one in doll face. It's a perfect pink for me. I don't know if you can tell with the glare. Um, but I absolutely love these blushes. They come in a variety of colors. I think I've mentioned them to you all before. This was the blush I used in the Juliet Day look. Um, just a really, really pretty flushed pink. Um, really that would work for any skin tone. So I do like the, the blush in doll face. And I will have all the product links below um, in a coordinating blog post for you all to go in and look at these items if you so choose. So I forgot to say that at the beginning. Um, the other thing I've been into makeup wise this month are really bright lips, particularly fuchsia lips. I think I had a fuchsia lip in the Summer Course Survival Guide video. Um, and I created that with this, this lip tar from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. It's really, really bright, really, really dense. Um, I love these lip tars. This is called Pretty Boy. This one is called Pretty Boy. I've also been into sort of the bright purple lips as well. I have no idea if that's on trend in the makeup world, but I've really been liking it. So that's what I've been doing lately are the bright lips, uh, specifically with the lip tars. My favorite lip liner, not only of this month, but in general as a whole, is MAC Lip Liner in Soar. Um, as you can see, I have worn it down. <laughs> I probably should get a new one. Um, this is MAC in Soar. I love this color. Really great neutral for me that I can wear with red. I can wear it with light pink. Doesn't really make a difference what I wear it with. I just really, really love this color. So that's been my favorite lip liner. And my last makeup product to show you um, is another... This is the 24-7 the Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeliner in Smoke. I did also use this in the Juliet Day look. Um, I love gray eyeliners of late simply because they're similar to black, but if you want something a little less harsh and a little less intense, especially in the summer, um, gray is a really good alternative because it still gives you the eye emphasis without being black. Um, so this is the, the one in smoke, the, the liner in smoke. So I really, really have been into this um, lately, in uh, the gray eyeliners. Now as far as um, skin care is concerned, um, I've, I found this new cleanser and I've been using it for a few months and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It is called the Natural Hawaiian Face Cleanser, Facial Cleanser by Alba Botanical. And it's got pineapple enzymes, and it's very purifying, um, completely hypoallergenic, all natural ingredients. Has a really nice fruity smell, hence the pineapple and Hawaiian name. Um, very, very great for summer. I, I always like using something that's going to clean all of the oil off and yet not dry me out. So this is just perfect. I, I love this. My mom has used this too. She loves it as well. So this is just a really good cleanser for really any skin type. It's all natural um, and very summery, so I, I really, really like this one. My favorite moisturizer um, lately, and not really lately, but in general, is from Sunday Riley, which is appropriate because my best friend in the entire world's name is Riley. Hi, Riley. Um, but this company, I just recently discovered them and I'm completely obsessed with their products. This is the Good Jeans um, moisturizer. It can also be worn as a mask if you use a lot of it, um, but I use just a little bit. A little bit goes a very long way, um, and this bottle has lasted me about five months, and I still have a little bit left, which is good because it is very expensive, but I absolutely swear by this. My skin has really improved uh, since, since using this, so this is the Good Jeans from Sunday Riley. Um, my other favorite beauty product right now is I, I wear Shalimar Perfume by Guerlain. That is my scent. And they have a powder 
Um, it's called Shalimar Powder. This is not the container that it comes in, but this is my, I have this little antique glass powder uh, uh, container jar thing that I put it in. Um, and it's this loose powder that gives a very, very nice light Shalimar scent. In the summer, I don't like to wear a lot of perfume simply because it gets so hot and I really sweat a lot. Um, but this is the powder that gives a hint of scent, yet it's powder, so it kind of keeps you know, it keeps me from sweating a lot. So I really, really love the Shalimar powder. And I'm sure if you have a signature scent, see if they have a powder. I'm sure they will, um, especially in the summer. So I've really been into the Shalimar powder. And as well as this beautiful jar, I got this for my birthday one year and completely love it, antique. Uh, I have a lot of antique silver things. So really, really love this. The one sort of fashion item I've been wearing quite a lot, as I mentioned in the dance bag video, I wear a lot of headbands for all of the little hairs that I have uh, growing back. And these two, one is silver and one is gold, I found at CVS. CVS in the headband aisle, gotta love some cheap headbands. Uh, but I was walking down the aisle and I saw them, I think they were about $3. And I just love them because they have this sort of lace detail. Um, they're really, really great. I wear them to take class in and everything. So I've really been into my CVS headbands. Gotta love some CVS headbands. Um, something else that I really, really love are my, my, is my phone case. Um, I found this on Amazon.com for $5, and it's this sort of rhinestone. I don't know whether that's a swan or a peacock. It's probably a peacock with the big feathers. But I have this in a couple of colors. This was the summer color that I, I found. I also have one in dark blue and a dark purple. Um, but this is, my, this is my summer phone case. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, and believe it or not, you would think that this would not hold up. I have dropped this sucker so many times on the floor and it has not cracked. It has not cracked my phone. It has not actually broken the case. Really, really love it. So Amazon, amazon.com phone case. Um, within, since we're talking about the phone, my two favorite apps of late, as I mentioned to all of you in conversations with Katie, this is an app, if you are a dancer, you need to get. It is called Slow Pro, and basically it's a slow-mo video camera. It's absolutely free. So what you do is you can videotape yourself turning, jumping, whichever, and you can see it in slow motion and see your mistakes because it's very hard to see what you're doing wrong in real time. So have someone video you with this slow-mo app and you can see what you're doing wrong, you can fix things. This has helped me so much with my turns especially, um, as well as balancing. Um, so I would recommend the slow-mo, a slow pro, it's called, slow-mo app. The other favorite app I'm really into right now is the, it's called Ringtones. And I can't remember if I paid for it or not, I will have the price right here. You, you're looking at the price right now. Um, but you create your own ringtone with songs you have on your iPhone. So you can have it be literally anything. Um, and so you can also create text tones. So I have my text tone right now, which this is really fun, is from, it's actually, it's Sleeping Beauty, but it's the Disney version, and it's the little fairy, uh, It's really fun. That's my little text tone. Um, as well as my um, ringtone right now is Samson and Delilah. I used, I created that so I didn't create the song, but I used the song for Ronda Joms in the last bar uh, video. So that, those are my current tones, my text tone and my ringtone. And I've created quite a few, and once you purchase the app, you don't have to purchase any of the ringtones. You create the ringtone and put it right on your phone, and it's it's fantastic. So I've kind of been obsessed with those. Um, as far as now the ballet DVD is concerned, I mentioned to you all I would be sharing um, good ballet DVDs to get, because again, there are so many out there, so many that are kind of wah -wah, and some that are great, so I really want to show you all which ones, if you want to be a professional dancer or you are really interested in seeing really good quality ballet, you need to be getting. Um, so this month is my absolute favorite Swan Lake on the planet, the Royal Ballet's Swan Lake with Marianela Nunez and Tiago Suarez. This Swan Lake is to die for. Um, it is basically, instead of just being a generic Swan Lake, they have set it in Imperial Russia. So there's all this sort of 
the, the Imperial Russian costumes and the sets, um, you know, all the, the military hats and everything. It's just beautiful. In addition to Marinella being insane, <laughs> insanely good in this one, like, pick up a copy of the Royal Ballet Swan Lake with her. It is the definitive Swan Lake, in my opinion. Absolutely beautiful. And it's very recent also. You know, obviously they're the classic, classic Swan Lakes. Uh, Makarova, um, some of the Russians, but this is fairly, fairly new. In the last five years, this was done. So everything I show you all is probably going to be recent because I think that's important for all of you. Yes, go and see Makarova do it on a DVD. Yes, go watch Fontaine. But as far as uh, videos are concerned, they will all be recent. So this is a very recent production and they are still doing it. Um, and she's still doing it, obviously. So I would pick this up if you can. Um, my favorite, as of late, as far as what I've been watching on television, I haven't been watching television. I, I sort of get on one show kicks, and not, I don't really do a bunch of shows lately, but my, my current favorite, no question, is Sherlock. If you all haven't seen Sherlock, I recommend it. Um, it is a modern day version of Sherlock Holmes, which kind of sounds a bit odd, but it is the most intelligent show I have ever seen. The writing, the acting, the filming, it's just incredible. Um, they are very long episodes, so they do take a commitment. Uh, they're about 90 minute episodes each. It stars Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman. Um, Martin Freeman recently did The Hobbit. Benedict was in Star, War uh, Star Wars, I believe he was in. Star Trek, not Star Wars, Star Trek. Um, and just he's done a million other things. So I, I have really been loving Sherlock. Uh, my other guilty pleasure right now, which is hysterical, is Pretty Little Liars. I've really been trying to catch up for the new season. I just have sort of gotten into this uh, about a year ago. Sort of a guilty pleasure of mine. Um, Riley, I mentioned my, my best friend, who you will meet eventually here. Um, she got me into it, and now I'm hooked. <laughs> it's just, it's so, I mean, the story by this point is so convoluted, but I just think it's just fun to follow along. Uh, so I've also been watching that. So I have my, my guilty pleasure of Pretty Little Liars and Sherlock. the very, very intelligent. I, it's the best show I've ever seen, personally, I think so. Um, so one last little favorite will be at the piano, so I'm going to take you there now. So the other thing I've been sort of doing lately, obviously you all realize this sort of goes along with favorites, is the piano music. Um, again, I'm so happy you all love it. I will work on doing albums somehow, some way. I'm thinking of my, my favorite ballet class CDs in the past tended to be when they were grouped as a theme. So for example, a Broadway, a Disney, a classical, you know, the list goes on. But I, I think that's what I'd like to do rather than just a CD of random songs. So if you don't like Broadway or you don't like whichever, you can sort of pick and choose which CDs you want to get. I think that might be the way it goes. That could change, but that's what I sort of would like to do with that. Um, so right now I have been doing a lot of Broadway, um, in addition to other things, but as you all heard in the ballet class, uh, the bar, ballet bar video, um, I had a lot of Phantom, a lot of Les Mis, my two favorites, um, but right now I'm really working on a big Phantom medley for class, which is going to be for waltz and pirouettes and that kind of thing, sort of five songs all together. So I, ha I do have the piano book. This is the, the movie piano book. I'm very partial to the show. I really love the show. The um, movie was beautiful, but nothing like live theater. Um, but this is, it has more in it, so that's why I got this one. Um, I use them as guides. These, as I mentioned to all of you, I do my own arrangements. And what I mean by that um, is that I will use this as a guide and then add notes to it. So for example, Angel of Music um, is written in this book as uh, that kind of thing. And what I would do is take that as inspiration, piano measures in my way, as inspiration and do something like um, making it into perfect eights for ballet class. Um, so with this medley that I'm going to do, in addition to other songs, I mean I have I've done a prima donna that you might hear in the next 
bar CD, but the, the, the medley I'm doing, again, is everything in a waltz. So instead of just taking, for example, All I Ask of You and having it be... That's how it's written. What I'm doing is making it into a waltz. Again, my arrangements. Um, so I'm doing a lot of Phantom, and the other one I've been doing a lot lately, is, in addition to Les Mis, is Wicked. Um, I saw this show about a year ago for the first time, completely loved it, and uh, have really been working on some of the pieces. Specifically right now, I'm doing the For Good, which is the duet at the end of the show. Beautiful duet. The problem with this book, however, I love this book, again, use it for inspiration, um, are things are in the wrong key. So I'm having to transpose and create a thing at the same time. So it's, you know, it's written, um, what is it? When it actually in the show, Again, I'm really into these right now, as well as some of the Disney ones um, and a couple of classical pieces. So again, you will hear more of this as we go along, but that's where I am with the piano right now. So I hope you like this little series. It's kind of a mishmash of things, uh, as well as showing you some of my live piano skills. Um, so I, now I need your opinion. As I mentioned, the technique tips coming up and the bars coming up, I want to know what you all want to work on. If there's a specific technique thing you need help with, if you want me to tailor make a bar to something. Um, the one on the 14th is going to be balance. Um, so you can improve your balance, strengthen your calves, that kind of thing. It's going to be balance based. Um, but if there's anything else you want to work on or need help with, please let me know in the comments below. I love hearing all your uh, comments and I want to tailor make these things so you all can benefit from them. So please let me know what you need to work on. Before I let you go, there is something I want you all to see. Um, I would include the link, but it's not actually online. There is a quarterly ballet journal, really, or ballet. It's basically a magazine, but it's got a lot of reviews and articles and interviews and things. Um, and it just, the, the summer edition just came out, and there is a big article on me, which I'm very, very honored. A wonderful friend of mine, Kira Robinoff, wrote it. And I will include a link right here. Um, this will be a link to my blog post where you all can go and read it. Um, I will either include photographs of the pages themselves, or if that uh, doesn't work, you, it will, I will have typed it out so you can read it. Um, but it explains a lot of my career, a lot of what's going on right now, um, and what's for the future. So I would really uh, be appreciative if you all would go and read it. Again, I will include the link here and below. Um, it's not online, which is why I have to photograph the pages um, or type it out. Uh, because they just don't have online links, but I will uh, link Ballet Review, their website, below as well. Um, it, well, that article explains a lot, so I hope you all uh, will go and read it. It's only three pages, um, but there's a lot in it. So please read the article. Please comment if you have um, some requests. I love you all so much, and I will see you next time.